Hi guys, it's Promise Sebastian Anthony here again. Okay guys, you're gonna be going on an anniversary design. Let's say you have first anniversary, second anniversary, fourth, fifth, there are a lot of anniversaries. So we're gonna choose one out of the years, then we'll try one. So I'm thinking of second. So we're gonna choose second anniversary flyer design. It's just like a celebration flyer design. So let's see what we can get out of this, okay. Okay, so with something like this, I increase the blue is at if it's kind of so this is what I'm looking for. And this, okay, so we have, okay, I have what I'm looking for. So let me get a shape, some kind of a triangle, okay, triangle. The angle should be similar. The angle should be similar if you are creating that angle 35 35 each. So you know the angle. So go check so that I don't make mistake. So this is 64. Let's say let me use 20 20. So the next should be 84. I'll reduce the opacity that won't be that visible. So let's say opacity of 10. Opacity of 10 is okay. So I lock it so I don't touch it. Let me get something that looks like a logo. It's a second anniversary design. So first of all, look at what I'll do. I'll get my test here. Yes, I'll start from two. There is, should be a point of attraction in anniversary design. So if you don't have some kind of illustrations, some kind of PNGs to give that that, can, that attraction, you can use your numbers to give the attraction. Let me show you what I mean. This is two. So I made it too big and others will be small. Then you will see the difference. So this is my second anniversary. So I have my two over here. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna try to use a uh, gold so I see what it looks like. And over here I have a good texture. I think in my gradient, I have a good texture and it's looking well. So since most of you don't know how to create this good good texture, I'm gonna start from scratch, uh, scratch to create one. I'm gonna start from scratch to create one so let's start from this let's say it was this gradient before so this is it. my menu first menu here is a gradient i used so in good i did a good texture tutorial recently or recently so instead of stressing yourself i'm looking for where to download pngs and the rest just watch the video and you learn how to create good gradient then how to create a good gradient, easy and simple, without stress. Then how to create a good gradient. So I think this is over shining. So I 
think this is over shining let's try the middle okay this is good this is good this is good looks like some kind of core stuff but i'll work i'll work better on it I'll work on it more better okay this is good over here over here I think we're good to go. So I've created, I successfully created a good gradient. Successfully created a good gradient. So I'm gonna make this, these two in some kind of 3D. I'm gonna make it in some kind of 3D. I'm gonna make it in some kind of 3D. So I um, will use this oblique. Whenever I create stuff like this, I use the oblique perspective. Instead of this main perspective, I use this oblique, oblique here. So this is it. And most of the times using 3D in, in Pezzle Lab do crack. So what you will do for you to prevent the crack, what you do to prevent the crack is going over, over here and often and turning off this light stuff, turn it off so you won't get the crack there. Then you go to your depth here and reduce the depth, reduce the depth, reduce the depth very well. Let me use a depth of 4. So I get another test, but you still name it the same second. I'm trying to create some kind of celebration like done so i go and change the font i'm gonna change the font definitely i change the font to monserrat which is the monserrat i have here so this second over here this second over here so to make everything look better more better i'm gonna give it the same color color the same good color which i gave this i'll go back to my gradient select back my good color and that is it so my background looks dark so i'm gonna try to make it i'm gonna try to make it more brighter my background is looking dark i go over to gradient here which is the last gradient and increase your brightness is their brightness here and that is it so i have something more visible then i'm gonna add a shadow to this two over here i'm gonna add a shadow to it so i've added a shadow i think the depth of my tool it's it's looking huge so i'm gonna reduce the depth over here to 30 so i have a depth of 30 now then let me work on the shadow of the shape here. Let me work on the shadow of the shape here. Let me work on the shadow. So in design, don't use hard shadows, use soft, soft shadows. You can use opacity of 30, 40. Don't use more than 50 opacity. These shadows should be soft. Then I offset a little bit to that of X. Don't worry, I'm going to share the POP of this design so that those that find it hard can just take time, study the design and get the hack of it. It's not hard, it's just the steps there, just take the steps and you're good to go. Okay, I think I have all I need now. Then I think the opacity, I'm going to increase it a little bit in that of the shadow aspect. I go back to the shadow opacity make it 50 make the opacity 50 so this is kind of a celebration design so that there, there should be something more exciting than the lines the the, the white lines that added as background there should be something more exciting okay so i'm gonna get some kind of uh, ribbons that are that are scattered in form of a celebration also so this is it here but the problem over here is that this my color it's not in the same gold color so since i have it as a texture i don't need as, as a color i don't need to bother myself i go over to the gradient take back my good that i used for design take back my good over here i can just copy copy and you read some part of this one read some part of it erase some part of it so I don't get issues I erase some part of it 
aquí estamos todos it doesn't get that complicated there is some part of it so let me lock the other two I'm gonna increase the, that of the second one to create some kind of blow effect watch out what I'm gonna do here to create something blurry I need something I can draw that much I will get pixelated once drawn I think I can get from here I can get from here so I will raise I will raise these guys So this is what I'm trying to create. I'm kind of all isolated. So I'm gonna change this color. I'm gonna change the color. a little bit fair now so I can copy it I can copy it this is somewhere is be around here copy the last one which I'm gonna use now so I'll raise once more there is something I need to raise So I have this guy, I can change the color now. There must not, must not be one color gradient. Ah, it's not that bright. Okay, we'll go with this. I'll lock all this inside I don't distract them anymore. You could make this N and D 3D a little bit them look as if they are 3d of the light of the light make it oblique reduce the depth use, use the toaster also then add shadow to offset use the opacity to 50 now blow radius, since it's a small, small, I want to increase blow radius. You offset small. Offset. And this six. I'm gonna use my bezier to use my bezier. The bezier is here. So I close the bezier, go over to this side, add points. Then. Gonna see if the excitement is not that much. I see if it's, it's not is dull. So I add more of excitement. Then my anniversary. My anniversary. When I have like three tests, I delete this one. I use this while I unlock it. While I unlock it, I anniversary. So, is something I need to curve. 
I need to curve, so I will have to curve it to this. So I use my Montserrat font, Montserrat font, bold, Montserrat font, bold, so I think I can color it, play it black or white, anyone, but meanwhile let me resize it and see what I get, and I will have to curve it. So, but the anniversary has to be small. Good. So this is my anniversary. I think I can rotate it a little bit. I rotate it second anniversary so I'll add shadow to this my code here oh yes I go to shadow so I'll set it in the y direction or something like this I increase blur reduce like 20 then so I reduce the opacity with my black is the opacity of my black then blow reduce should be blow reduce i think 15 15 which gives me what i'm in need of so let me look for some kind of a test which i'm gonna use to write on this So I get a shape which I'm gonna use for the footer. So I get a shape. Get a shape. So guys, I'm trying, I'm actually making this design offhand. Okay. So this was no concept or anything. It's a concept I got from anywhere. I just developed it so it's for your own growth. Your own growth. I'm gonna share the PLP so even though you didn't get so don't bother okay don't bother I'm gonna share the PLP I'm definitely gonna share the PLP okay so I have this over here then I have a shape over here so I get a shape get a shape So website, website, I think I have some icons on website, so that is it, website, website, that is my website icon. We are done. This is it. Okay, go and I will, I will share a POP of the design. I will share a POP on the on, of the design on the file. On the file, I will share a POP of the design on the file. 
So in case you you tried and you find it hard, you can take the POP and study more on it so you can you can understand better. Take the POP, study more on it and the design on your private time so you can understand better how the design was done. This was actually done from scratch. So if you actually succeed in doing the design, post it on whatever group you are and tag me there so I can see what it's like. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not and uh, do share the video. Okay, have a great day. Thank you.